Bad news, the NASCAR and the team's charter negotiations, they're not going very well. NASCAR and the teams just can't get things together. They're bothering me while I'm on holiday, as the Europeans call it. So NASCAR and the teams, they, ha they can't come to an agreement on charters, at least not yet. So they had set a deadline for the end of December to get this deal done. That passed, so they decided to extend it until the end of January. Well, now it's February, and they still don't have anything concrete. In fact, according to sources, they're not even close. So teams, of course, want a bigger chunk of that TV revenue. Right now, they currently receive 25%. NASCAR says it's more like 35-ish percent. And teams said at most it's like 30%. Teams want 50% of that TV revenue now. Currently, tracks receive 65%. Teams receive 25%. And then NASCAR receives the rest. Teams aren't very happy with that. So they would like that to be changed. And they want more money because they don't want to be so dependent on the sponsorship model because at the end of the day, if you're bringing in, you're the show, you should probably get paid more. At least that's the team's thinking here. So right now, they're pretty far apart on that. So we'll see what happens. The other sticking point is the whole topic of charters. So teams, of course, have charters. It guarantees them a spot, guarantees them prize money at the end of the year. And they're very valuable at this point, as we found out from the LiveFast charter, which was the worst one in NASCAR, still sold for $40 million. Team owners love the idea of a charter because it becomes a financial asset for them. They can turn around and sell it. They have something. They have equity within their team. They're not having to sell the entire team for pennies on the dollar now. You have this one of 36 guaranteed spots in the NASCAR Cup Series field with guaranteed money. So when people want to come along and join the sport, they have to buy one of those because it makes the most financial sense. And we've seen a lot of teams, you know, ask around. They're either selling, they're trying to buy. And right now, nobody's going to sell because we don't know what's going to happen with the charters. The really interesting thing about this, though, is with no agreement in place, teams are technically allowed to negotiate as a unit with another racing organization or start their own series. Think of the IRL cart split. You could have that in NASCAR. Do I think that's going to happen? Absolutely not. I think they're going to come to an agreement. It's just going to take some time, and there's going to be some hurt feelings, more than likely. But I don't see or envision a NASCAR split. That would be detrimental to all stock car racings. Uh, actions detrimental, if you want to you know, tie Denny Hamlin into this, who's been pretty outspoken about this right here. And he said on his podcast this week, before this news even came out, that teams in NASCAR are very far apart which it definitely seems like they are. And that's unfortunate because now we're going into the season with this hanging over everyone's head. NASCAR wanted to have this deal done by the Clash, if not the Daytona 500. That's just not happening now. Adam Stern from the Sports Business Journal reported earlier, or late last year rather, in 2023, that he had heard rumblings that teams could have some sort of protest during a race, during a race weekend. We could see them do something to voice their displeasure or show their displeasure to NASCAR for, you know, not finalizing this charter agreement quite yet. Honestly, again, I don't think that's going to happen. That would once again be detrimental to NASCAR as a whole and to the teams, especially the people that are paying to be there to watch this race. I don't think that they'll have some sort of protest during the race, but I could see them having something outside of the race. What that is remains to be seen. I'm who, who knows what they would even consider doing. But at this point, they're not close on the charters. So there's another option too. If they don't have an agreement by December 31st, and granted, that is literally 11 months away, NASCAR does have the option to pull all of those charters back from the teams, basically saying that they're worth nothing then, or that the owners don't get anything from them. So that's why teams want to make the charter system permanent. And the whole charter system is interesting in itself because it acts a bit like a franchise, um, system, except for the fact that like NASCAR is not set up as a true franchise, you know, format is. Think of the NFL, where you have all 32 teams that have a rev share with the NFL, and they all work together. You right now have teams versus NASCAR, and that's a whole different, you know, Pandora's box. I don't know what I'm looking for there. It doesn't matter. You understand that it's completely different, and it's an interesting way to do business at the end of the day. So NASCAR and the teams are still at ends. Who knows when this is going to get done? I have no doubts that it will get done. Like I said, there's probably going to be some hurt feelings. Some people are going to get what they want. Some aren't going to get what they want. That's how negotiations go. But to have it be like this going into the season, that's a bad look for everybody because nobody can be happy about that at all. They wanted to get this done. It's not done. Teams want more money. And I don't blame them. Once again, they're the show. They should be getting paid 
a substantial amount of that TV revenue share, definitely more than 25%. When you have teams getting, or tracks rather, getting 65% and NASCAR owns half of those tracks, you can see where teams can might be a little bit upset about that. So we'll find out what happens here and if they're going to get this all figured out. But for now, things aren't looking great. And like I said, there's some drastic options that are available. Starting your own series, breaking away, negotiating with somebody else. Granted, NASCAR owns the two biggest national touring series between NASCAR and ARCA. So who knows what's going to happen. But for now, if they can stop bothering me while I'm on holiday, as they say, that'd be great. This whole green screen background, which I just screenshotted from one of the other videos, worked out perfectly. I'm going to keep this very handy. So let me know in the comments what you think about this. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at Break Hard, Instagram and Twitter at Break Hard Blog.